dear students welcome to the next lecture of electrical measurement now we were discussing uh, about the different types of instruments till the last lecture and uh, we have discussed the uh, various type of instruments like moving coil moving iron the dynamometer type the the thermal type of instruments and the electrostatic type of uh, instruments okay so uh, in this class uh, we'll see uh some of the numerical problems which are which are related to the dynamometer type uh, wattmeter okay so we have discussed that in detail now we'll try to look at some of the problems uh, which can be there uh in the dynamometer type wattmeter so this is the first problem uh, the problem states that the wattmeter has a current coil of 0.1 ohm resistance and a pressure coil of 6500 ohm resistance calculate the percentage errors due to the resistance only with each of the two methods of connection shown in figure 1 below uh, when the uh, when reading the input to an apparatus which takes uh, so there are two different parts in the first part it is given the uh, it is taking 12 ampere at 250 volt with unity power factor and in the second part it is given that uh, the apparatus is taking 12 ampere at 250 volt and 0.4 power factor okay so the two different uh, methods of connections are being shown in this figure and uh, if you recall that this is the same uh, same uh, connection diagram as uh, we had discussed it uh, in the in one of our previous lecture in which we were discussing about the 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 uh, error uh, due to the connections in the dynamometer type instruments okay so these are the two different uh, way of uh, connections uh, so let's try to solve this problem so there are two different parts we'll try uh, with the first part first okay so the power will be vi cos phi okay so uh, all these values are given to you in the problem that uh, voltage is given as 250 volt current is given as 12 ampere and unity power factor is given so obviously the load power will simply be 3000 watt okay now the two connections which are shown uh, in in the figure figure 1 so if we just discuss for the first connection that is let us just uh, call these as part a and part b okay or uh, the part of this figure okay so for this uh, first figure that is figure 1a the error which is caused is uh, due to the power loss in the current coil okay so this is what we discussed in that lecture also so for the figure for figure 1a the error is caused due to the power which is lost in the current coil so power loss in the current coil we will calculate here power loss in current coil it will be simply i square rc where rc is the resistance of uh, the current coil so current is given to be 12 so 12 square multiplied by 0.1 so it will be 14.4 watts so if the if the actual power is 3000 watt and this is the power loss which is occurring in the current coil so if we just calculate the error so it will be simply 14.4 divided by this 3000 or if we have to get this in percentage then we just multiply it by 100 so it will be 0.48 percent okay now for the second type of connection that is connection which is shown in figure 1b the power loss will occur in the pressure coil so power loss we will calculate in pressure coil so power co power loss in pressure coil will simply be v square over rp 
voltage is given to be 250 volt and the resistance of the pressure coil is given as 6500 ohms so it will come as 9.6 mega 9.6 watts okay so therefore error in this case will be 9.6 divided by 3000 multiplied by 100 so that will be 0.32 percent okay so this was uh, the solution for part a uh, where 250 volt and 12 ampere rating is given uh, with unity power factor in part b the data is somewhat different that is 12 ampere 250 volt and the power factor is 0 0.2 Four. So you can just uh, repeat uh, this procedure what we have done uh, in the part A. So for this, for the connection of figure 1A, for figure 1A, you should obtain the error to be 1.2%. So this will be just same as we had done in the previous case also okay and uh, similarly for the figure of uh, 1b that is the second type of connection which is possible the error should come as 0. 0.8 percent okay so this is simple you just have to uh, replace the values there 12 ampere 250 volt and 0 0.4 power factor now let's come to the second problem this problem states that a wattmeter has a current coil of 0 0.03 ohm resistance and a pressure coil of 6000 ohm resistance calculate the percentage error if the wattmeter is so connected that the current coil is on the load side and in the second part the pressure coil is on the load side okay so uh, and again there are two different parts in it in the first part it is given that if the load is taking 20 ampere at a voltage of 220 volt and 0.6 power factor in each case and in the second part you have to calculate the value of the load current which would give equal errors with the two connections okay so uh, let us uh, proceed with the solution so the power which is consumed by the load power consumed by the load would be equal to 220 multiplied by 20 multiplied by 0.6 so this is simply vi cos phi voltage current and power factor is given so you can calculate the power which is being consumed by the load this will come as 2640 watts okay now let us suppose for the first part in which it is given that the current coil is on the load side so when the current coil will be on the load side then uh, obviously the loss will uh, occur in the current coil so loss power loss in the current coil can be calculated as i square rc okay so this i is the load current rc is the uh, resistance of the current coil so this will be 0.03 so this is 12 watt so in this case the error will be this 12 divided by 2640 multiplied by 100 that will be 0.45 percent similarly in the second case when the pressure coil is connected across the load side so let us suppose for this second case the loss in 
प्रेशर कॉइल सर्किट विल बी वी स्क्वायर ओवर आर अगेन दिस इज सिंपल यू जस्ट सब्सटीट्यूट दी वैल्यूज ऑफ द वोल्टेज एंड द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द प्रेशर कॉइल सो दिस इज गिवन एज सिक्स थाउजेंड सो दिस विल बी एट पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स वॉट्स सो इन दिस केस द एरर वुड कम आउट टू बी द रेशो ऑफ एट पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाई टू सिक्स फोर जीरो मल्टीप्लाइड बाई हंड्रेड सो दैट विल बी पॉइंट थ्री वन परसेंट ओके नाउ इन दिस सेकेंड पार्ट इट वॉज आस्ड दैट वॉट वैल्यू ऑफ लोड करेंट वुड गिव द इक्वल एरर्स विद द टू कनेक्शन दैट इज द टू कनेक्शन विच विच आर बींग डिस्कस्ड इन दिस प्रॉब्लम ओके सो फॉर equal errors in the two connections for equal errors for two connections that means the power loss in both the coils should be equal so i square rc should be equal to v square over rp so this means i square will be equal to v square over rc rp so 220 square divided by 0.03 multiplied by 6000 so the value of uh, load current should come out to be 16.4 ampere so for this value of load current that is 16.4 ampere we will have we will have the equal errors for the two connections let's take uh, one more last problem a wattmeter is rated at 10 ampere and 25 volt the current coil has a resistance of 0.06 ohm and a reactance of 0. 0 to ohm the potential coil circuit may be assumed to be purely resistive having a resistance of 6250 ohms find the error due to the two different connections shown in figure 1 the load is 10 ampere at a power factor of 0.174 lagging the voltage across the load is 25 volt okay so we can use the uh, circuit which uh, is shown in the uh, figure 1 so you can just uh, see the circuits which we have drawn in the first problem so same circuits can be used here as well okay so you have to again just calculate the errors for the two different connections which are there okay so let us just start by calculating the power consumed by the load so this can be calculated by the voltage and current ratings which are given okay so voltage is given as 25 volt current is 10 ampere and power factor is 0.174 so the power will come out to be 43.5 watts okay so for the first connection that is figure 1a the current coil is on the load side and power factor is uh, given as 0.174 so this means cos phi is 0.174 that means we can calculate phi so it should come as 80 degree lagging so current can be written as equals to cos 80 minus j sin 80 okay so this can be written in this uh, complex form so this will be simplified to 
सेवन थ्री सिक्स माइनस जे टाइम्स नाइन पॉइंट एट फाइव एम्पियर ओके नाउ यू कैन कैलकुलेट द वोल्टेज ड्रॉप अक्रॉस द करेंट कॉइल सो वोल्टेज ड्रॉप across current coil so it will be 1.736 minus j 9.86 0 0.06 plus j 0 0.02 so this will be obviously be the product of the current flowing through it and the Uh, impedance of it so the resistance as well as reactance is present in the current coil so we have to include both so it will be 0.301 minus j 0.5569 so this is the voltage drop across the current coil so voltage now across the potential coil can also be determined so voltage across potential or pressure coil so it will be represented by this vp so it will be 25 plus 0.301 minus j 0.5569 so obviously the voltage across the potential coil will just be the summation Uh, of the voltage across the load and whatever the voltage drop across the current coil so we have done just that so let us write it in polar form so it will be 25.316 minus 1.26 so power indicated by the wattmeter can then be calculated to be uh, 25.316 multiplied by 10 okay so that is uh, this is the voltage across the potential coil this is the uh, value of load current and this is the uh, phase difference so it will be 49.5 watts so reading of watt meter would be the power consumed in the load power consumed in load plus power consumed in current coil or power loss you can also call it power consumed in current coil so this will be 43.5 plus 10 square 0.06 so this will be 49.6 watts so in this case error can be calculated as 49.6 uh, minus 43.5 divided by 43.5 so and multiplied by 100 so this will come something around 13.8% Eight percent. Similarly, for the second case, if we consider for figure one B, that is when the pressure coil is on the load side. Pressure coil is on the load side. So in this case, the power loss. in pressure coil will be v square over r 
okay so it will be 0.1 watt so power indicated by watt meter will be that is uh, the the power which is uh, uh, occurring across the load consumed by the load plus this power loss as well so just add these two so it will be 43.6 watts so again the error can be calculated as 43.6 minus 43.5 divided by 43.5 multiplied by 100 that will be 0 0.23 percent so this is how these type of problems will be solved related to the dynamometer type watt meter connection the two connections uh, which we discussed in the previous lecture as well so with this much uh, we stop today this is all in this lecture thank you very much